live from Gainesville, Florida, former FEMA administrator under President Obama, Craig Fugate. Uh, before that, he served as Florida's director of emergency management. So Craig certainly has a deep understanding of storms and storms in this region. Craig, let's start with 155 mile an hour winds. What does that mean to structures in the area? How serious is that for buildings? Well, unfortunately, this is a very rural, uh, low-income area in many places where we have a lot of manufactured housing and a lot of older mobile homes that aren't even built to current codes. So we would expect a lot of structural damage, but also all the trees coming down. And with US 98 being the primary highway, it's right on the coast. Uh, and that got wiped out in Hurricane Dennis in 2005. Uh, I imagine there's going to be very little of US 98 that's going to survive this storm. Uh, Craig, you have been involved in Katrina, in Wilma, in Dennis, in Ivan, uh, and again, and we, you and I talked a lot during uh, Florence. Uh, you know, what, what are what are you most worried about here? Are you most worried about this remarkably destructive high velocity, 155 mile per hour winds in some places? Where, as you said, we keep talking to people whose houses were built in the 1920s and the 1940s and are not built to current code. Or are you worried about the water damage that we're going to see? Both. Uh, this is a this is a total hurricane. Uh, the storm surge values here are the highest of anywhere in the state of Florida. Uh, those low lying areas have yet to see the bulk of the storm surge come in, uh, and then the winds. And actually, the older homes have historically done better. It was the newer construction starting in the mid '60s through the '80s and early '90s that we really saw homes that weren't being built for the uh, hurricanes we faced. Uh, Governor Bush uh, signed into law the uh, statewide unified building code, and we started moving in a in the right direction of, of making sure our codes reflected our risk. The newer homes do better, some of the older homes do better, but a lot of people live in those homes in between and they're gonna have a lot of damage. Hey Craig, I just